Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to write net ionic equations for acid reactions. So let's take a look at a typical acid reaction. So in this guy, this is called the molecular equation. And what that means is that we basically just show what's happening, no charges, just how things are switching. And so you can see we've got hydrochloric acid, we've got some hydroxides reacting with barium, and then we create barium chloride and water. So this is our molecular equation. The next thing we need to write is our total ionic equation. And so what this means is that we break these four things up into their respective ions. So in solution, hydrochloric acid won't look like this. It'll be broken up into ions. And this will also be broken up like this, got our barium chloride broken up, and our water is not an ion, that's a total, total stable molecule, it's just gonna sit like that. So, when we've broken everything up, showing its charges, this is called the total ionic equation. And now, what we're actually looking for is the net ionic equation. And so the net ionic equation means things that are actually changing, not including ions that stay the same and don't do anything. So to find this, we look at our total ionic equation and we find what just stays the same on both sides because this means it really didn't react. So on both sides, we have our barium, cross this out, didn't react. And on both sides, we also have these two chloride ions. They didn't do anything either, so they're crossed out. And so what we're left with is hydrogen plus hydroxide reacting to make water. So if we redraw that, we'll get two hydrogens plus two hydroxides formed two waters. And these coefficients are pretty much useless since they're all two. Might as well knock them down to one. For our net ionic equation, we're going to have H plus plus OH minus equals H2O, which is kind of our basic acid-base reaction. So I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been How to Write the Net Ionic Equation for an Acid Reaction. Mm -hmm.